Yo, what's up my cool dude? I'm Dylan dude and welcome to the first PLC team builder for season 3 of the Pokemon League Championships. Now if you have not seen my team builders from season 2, practically what happens is I'll, off screen I'll make my team for that weekly matchup and then I will show you guys also, before I get start, before I get started, the battles are actually going up on either Video Cam Twenty Two or Pokemon or uh, Kim Tilton Plays Games channel. That's where the battles will go up. I'm uploading this straight after I battle, as well. So yeah, and that's only a couple of hours away at the time I'm recording this. So. Anyway, our week one opponent is um, Rob Top's cat, aka Boomer Crazy Forty Seven or Forty Three, or he also goes by Bokma and a few other names. But now he is the coach of the Chicago Chimeco, and they are rocking a very, very scary lineup. One that pretty much destroyed. That, this lineup pretty much destroys my whole draft. Here's rocking Mew, Breloom, Chandelure, Chestnut, Scrafty, Lilligant, Primeape, Zangoose, Vivalon, Corsola, Scizor, Volcanion, and Mega Ampharos. So we are looking at a very scary draft. Most notable threats are Scrafty and Mew, because he Boomer has used Scrafty and Mew in every season of the PLC, and they are deadly. Now, if you guys did not know, my draft, we, I'm rocking out with Thero... For my draft, I have options with Therothorn, Tyranitar, Darmanitan, Frostlass, Jolteon, Tyrantrum, Mesprit, Frogadier, Go-Goat, Proton Wash, Crocodile, Explare, Magmorta, and Megalopunny. Okay, uh, guys, if you do not ha know how this works, now I am going to flick over the Pokemon Showdown so I can show you guys my matchup, uh, my um, team that I'm going to be throwing at Bo uh, that I'm going to be using against Boomer. Okay, guys, here's Pokemon Showdown, and before I get started, I forget to do this. I forgot to do this at every, on every PLC team builder last season, but I, as you can see, guys, there is a layout across the bottom of your of the screen showing you my, the Pokemon I'm predicting Boomer to use, and I'm going to say Boomer is going to bring Mew, Scrafty, Vivalon, Scizor, Volcanion, and his Mega Ampharos. Also, before I get into my team quickly, as you can see, there's a um, layout up the top as well. Now, that pretty much it shows you guys how many kills my Pokemon have had that season, uh, how many kills my Pokemon have got on, opposing, on the opponent this season. So, anyway, let's get started with our first Pokemon, Boom the x -Cloud. Now, going into the... Crap, I recognize Boom has so many fighting types, but I needed to go x because its amount of coverage is uh, phenomenal. Boom's rocking the Assault Fest with the ability Scrappy, which will allow my Pokemon to hit, which will allow my normal attacks to, and fighting attacks to hit his Ghost-type Pokemon. Really, that only applies to Chandelure in this situation, but it is still good to have, because Chandelure... If he does bring it, cannot switch switch him freely on a boom burst. Maybe able to on a fire blast, but it can't on a boom burst. As for rocking moves, we are rocking obviously stab boom burst. Boom burst will destroy most things, and we're rocking fire blast because Scizor is a threat. Vivalon is a threat. But Vivalon's probably dying to a boom burst anyway. Um. Seriously, Fire Blast does wonders for my draft. We are also rocking... I mean, does wonders on his draft. We are rocking Surf, which is 
for his Volcanion. And I believe Corsola is also weak to Surf. Oh, so is Fletchinder and Chandelure. So if I don't want to... So if I run Dev's Calcs and find out that Boomburst does more than Surf, I will go for it. Or if I'm predicting to switch into one of them, I will go Surf. I won't risk... Oh. Yeah. Um, and then we have Focus Blast, which hits... Corsola for super effective damage, it hits the Scrafty, um, who else does it? Yeah, it hits the, um, Scrafty and the Corsola. Okay, for the EV spread, we are rocking 248 HP, 252 special attack, 8 special defense with a modest nature. Actually, let me just see something. I drop this down to 244. No, okay, it is. Okay, we're rocking the modest nature, so combo this with the assault vest and natural bulk, bulk off an X-Flat. x, -flat. x -flat is going to be dishing out serious damage. Okay, next Pokemon is going to be Joy the Mesprit. Joy is rocking leftovers. With the ability levitate, which makes all ground type moves and we we're unaffected by ground type moves. Um, actually, realistically, will we? I don't think we'd actually have to deal with any ground type attacks in this thing, but it is still such a good ability to have. And Mesprit's only ability, so can't complain. Uh, we are, for Mers we are rocking Stealth Rock because rocks are important. Chandelure's 25% off, Fletchinder's 50% uh, off, Volcanion's 25 and just that bit of chip damage can really help. We are rocking Psychic for your main stab and since a lot of Pokemon are weak to Psychic, we are going to have a, a good time. Dazzling Gleam is... Why did I pack Dazzling Gleam? I'm pretty sure I need it. Ah, Dazzling Gleam is for the Mega Ephoros if it comes down to a situation where I am forced to stay in May, against it. I'm going to pack... I'm obviously going to go for Dazzling Gleam, do a lot of damage. And finally, we have U-Turn. U-Turn is pretty much there for some switch initiative to make sure that... It, I can get um, Joy out of there when I need to. For EV spread, Joy is rocking max HP, max defense with a bold nature and four special attack. Okay, moving on, we have Wash Boy Luke the Rotom Wash. Now, Wash Boy Luke is actually a really good versatile Pokemon, but this week Luke's running Citrus Berry with the Levitate ability. Willow Wisp, because a lot of his Pokemon are physical attackers, and Willow Wisp will just make sure that they're doing less damage. Pain Split, because he's also got a fairly decent amount of bulky Pokemon, so if I'm on low HP, I can Pain Split back up to full, or up high. Hydro Pump, because you need to run Hydro Pump on a Rotom Wash, it's Rocket Science. Rocket Science. Um, Volt Switch, because Volt, because Volt Switch is, um, more Switch Initiative, it's your main electric step. And I just realized Mega Ampharos has Mold Breaker. Uh, they don't carry ground attacks anyway, so I'll be fine. But since he has so many grass types on it, oh wait, I didn't go, um, EV Spread, Max Special Defense, Max HP with a Calm Nature, Four special attack just to make him hit a bit harder. And as you can see, and Boomer's Draft has so many grass type Pokemon on them, so I had to bring all of that the you know, Darmanitan. I'm surprised this hasn't been drafted in any other season. Darmanitan is such an amazing Pokemon. Anyway, Darmanitan is rocking the Choice Scarf with the ability Sheer Force. So it's going to be outspeeding a lot of Pokemon. Shift Force is going to make its attack stronger. Speaking of attacks, we have 
Flare Blitz, Earthquake for the Mega Ampharos, Super Power, why did I bring Super Power up? Oh yeah, Super Power for the Zangoose. And then you turn for a bit more Switch Initiative because Switch Initiative is awesome. EV spread, we are going um, full sp physical scarf. We are want to outspeed as many Pokemon as possible. So we are going max attack, max speed with a jolly nature and four special defense. Barring a quiver, a couple, a quiver dance set up, um, Fivalon and a choice scarf primate. Actually, this uh, Darmanitan speed ties with Choice Scarf Primeape. So, if it really comes down to that, I'm going to be relying heavily on a speed tie, which I'm going to have to, have, have to deal with. <sighs> okay, our next Pokemon is Capricorn the Goat Goat. Capricorn is rocking the leftovers with Sap Sipper. Because all those grass type attacks, grass type stab and everything, Sap Sipper is just an amazing ability for me to have at this point. For moves, we are rocking Bulk Up, so we can set up and make our attack and defense really good. Milk Drink, so we can get some HP. Horn Leech, so we can do damage as well as gain HP. And finally, Earthquake, because, well... Chandelure is a threat, but and I have to. If I have to leave you in on a Chandelure, I'm not going to be happy. Uh, okay, moving on to our final Pokemon, we have Bunquisha, the shiny Mega Low Punny. Bunquisha is rock, obviously rocking the Lopunite with the ability Limbo before Mega Evolving. When a Mega Revolves, it gets scrappy, but Limba prevents it from being paralyzed, so I can switch it in. Don't have to deal with any cheap... S if Boomer wants to give me a stun spore or anything, I don't have to deal with that. We also, for moves, we are Rocky Fake Out. Because Fake Out can win games, it can break sashes, it can just do... Fake Out is just a really good attack. Drain Punch, because getting HP back is awesome. Return because return will do lots of damage to a lot of his Pokemon. And finally, Ice Punch. For um, Ice Punch is for all his Grass types because he has so many. I am bringing tons of coverage for him. Now, um, for EV spread, we are running a typical Mega Low Punny spread with max attack, max speed. For special defense and a jolly nature. Now, as you can see, guys, none of the Pokemon in this, none of my Pokemon have had. This is only week one, so none of my Pokemon have battled yet. So these six are going to be representing the Rock Camp, your Rock Camp, to ride you in the first round. And I'll, until next time, guys. Stay frosty. That's my new that's my new outro by the way and it works awesome.